Okay, so now I want to look at stopping. So what I'm going to want to try and do is give him three really clear cues. So he's doing the old exercise. I don't really care where he goes. So I'm going to just have him on a loose rein and just ask him to walk around. I don't really care where he goes for this exercise. The first cue is going to be, I'm going to say the stopping word, which for me is W-H-O-A. I'm pretty sure he can't spell. Um, then I'm going to just move my feet forward slightly, which just takes my weight back a tiny bit. If he doesn't stop with those two cues, then I'm going to pick up some uh, rein tension. All right? so, but I'm going to give him the chance to respond to the other two. Whoa. Okay, really good. No rein tension needed. I'm going to walk on. I suggest you start this on one rein at a time. So if, let's say we're starting on the left, so we'll just have him traveling around to the left. And then if I do need to pick up rain tension, then um, his, his head is going to be offset to one side and that's going to make it much easier for me to stop him. So do it again. Good boy, good boy. And walk forward. Good. So the same for walk forward. I've got three cues. So I've got a, a cluck. And then I just touch him with my legs, both legs together. And then I give him a big little squeeze with my legs. I'm not carrying a whip. So if I was carrying a whip, that would be my fourth cue would be to touch him with the whip. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good stop. It's a good stop. Yeah. wonder if we can do that from trot to stop. Let's have a go. Good. And trot. Oh, we sure can. Good for you. Good for you, little fella. Good for you. Okay, walk on. Good. Chop. There we go. <laughs> He's so funny. He learns the pattern so quickly. Oh. Good boy. So now I'm starting to pair it with actually throwing the reins away. So I give him all the reins and then ask him to stop. So actually what I want him to do is stop if I just drop the reins. I always think that's quite useful. So we'll do that again. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. So that was good. So he really didn't stop on the throwing the reins away. So we could try that at walk. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Let's see if we can get him to learn this. Oh, good boy. Well done you. Are you a clever horse. Are you a clever horse. You notice each time before I ask him to step off, I'm putting him in frame. I think that was my mistake. I think I moved my legs before I threw the reins at him. I'll try not to do that this time. Yeah, my goodness, he's picked this up really fast. All Kandu horses do love to stop. It's a good thing, we like that. Considering I never formally teach it until one of the last foundation exercises, it's just a good sign that the horses are relaxed there. I didn't have to use any other cues that time, just throwing the reins on his neck got him to stop. Let me show that again. This would have been a really useful thing. I remember watching my son, one of his first pony club gymkhanas, and um, what did he do? He did something. He threw the reins over the horse's neck before they stopped. It was a walk, trot and lead, I think. And he, he just threw the rein. He thought he'd save time by getting the reins over the horse's neck. Luckily, it was a can-do horse and it stopped as soon as he did that. <laughs> I'm looking at it going, hmm. 
Good boy. Good boy. You're a good horse. Yeah. That's it for you today, I think.